Morning everybody, I'm Dr. Linda Kramer and today is Tarot Day! Oh my gosh, my energy is so good today. Alrighty, so like last week, I'm going to use the four different types of cards today. Okay, the first one I have are the lovely cards by Louise Benton. And I'll put that there if anybody does want to go and purchase her lovely decks that she has available. All the artistic work, um, pictures on the front, they are her designs. All the words on the back that she has, they're all her words, okay? All right, so we've got those. I've got my lovely little dove cats. I love these guys. Look how little and cute he is. Little wave. Okay, so I've got my little love cards. I've also got my deck of tarot cards here. Um, lovely deck that I've got. And I'm also going to use my bag of ruins. Okay, so let's see what the cards bring out for us today. Okay, so my intention is for today to draw cards and stones. Got to remember to say that one now. Okay, cards and stones, it represents what the messages are that the whole world, all 8 billion of us need. From today, which is the 2nd of January 2022, right through until the 8th of January 2022, which is next Saturday. So my, my tarot readings always go from the Sunday through to the next Saturday, okay? Um, also, just want to say it firstly, Hope you all had a lovely Christmas. I hope that you all had a safe and wonderful New Year. How did your New Year resolutions go? And how many of you watched my video, How to Make the Law of Attraction um, to Make Our New Year Resolutions Actually Work? Okay, so that video is on my channel if you want to go and use the Law of Attraction to make all your New Year resolutions come true and into our reality. Okay, so she's on deck. Thank you so much for being here, as she always is. Okay, where do you want me to go today? Oh, you want me to use my cards today. I always ask which ones that she wants because then that's the order of how I read them at the end as well, if you haven't noticed. So the first cards, are, start again, the first cards I've got are my tarot cards. So I'm just going to shuffle these until one falls out with the intention of a message <clears throat> that the whole world needs for the next week. And look at that, we've already got it. <clears throat> so I'm going to put him down there. I'll just quickly show you. <clears throat> Get rid of my deck. I'll put them over there. Okay. Now, oh, the little cards, the little loved ones today. All right, so I've got these guys, the little dove ones. So let me just shuffle these until one just pops out. And again, the intention is some a message that the whole world needs to hear for the next week. From the 2nd of January 2022, right through until the 8th of January 2022, Saturday through to next Sunday. A message for the whole planet, something that we can all use, something that we can aspire to be. Oops, just putting these cards back into, they're all just going haywire. Okay, so obviously I've got my first card really, oh, 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 no, that's a few, I won't take those. Okay, so obviously sometimes it does take a little bit longer, so I like explaining and developing other people. You know, if you want to start using tarot cards, I don't use my ego, okay? I take me out of the equation. I'm just the, the telecommunications device for the intention of what I put out there. So the question is, a message or something that the whole world needs for the next week, okay? Oh, and there it goes. Did you see that one flick out? So first of all, I'll get rid of my cards. <clears throat> here he comes okay I've now got my little card okay so that's there in second place and now we have thank you the cards from Louise Benton I'll just pause here so you can have a look at her website the description is below um, if you do wish to go to her email address okay so just on this card this is her lovely design that she has there on her um, that's like a card that she sticks on the front of her card so I've got the cards here so now same intention a card that we all need for the next week something that we can implement into our life something a message or it could be something that we're doing so it's a reminder keep going or it could be something that we're not doing see that one 
Let me just pick that up and make sure it wasn't any one card. <clears throat> You're still saying the same messages. I'm still getting the same card that I got last week. I've had this card a few times now. So there's obviously a real message in here that the universe does want us to read. Okay, look how many cards are in there. You know, it's not a little deck. It's funny how I always get the same card thrown out at me. Okay, so now we go into the ruins. Okay, this is given to me by the lovely Dr. Sally um, Chapman. Yeah, I said your name, Sally. Oops. All right, Sally is, has a doctorate degree, same as me. All right, so she I made these for me, the little cheeky bugger. So I put in my hand and I say one ruin for the message for the next week. So what I do is I put all the stones into my hand. I just want one, um, one stone. That represents they're actually moving on their own accord in my hand I don't know if you can see that but oh, now that I've done that they're all <laughs> moving anyway um, one stone that represents a message for what we need for the next week so as I just put the stones out and one will stay there he is I've got the one that's staying okay different one to last week good so I've now I've got my stone okay First thing I'll do is I'll go and find the stone in here so I know exactly which one he is. Oh, there it is. <clears throat> wow. Okay, so I've got that to read as well. So, first of all, I got this one. Now, this is the temperance card. Let's have a look at what temperance is. So, this is the 14th. I'll just show you that's 14. XIV. X equals 10. IV is 4. So I'll go into XIV, Temperance. Okay. <clears throat> temperance represents moderation and having patience. The ability to compromise to, satis to, to find satisfactory results and solutions. Diplomacy and cooperation and balanced emotions. It is a card for successfully integrating opposite forces. Wow. How appropriate is this at this point of the year where we've all just had Christmas, which I call the silly season, okay? You know, people get ob obligations. People try and control situations, which is why I did that video, how stress affects us at Christmas, right? Um, so this is actually showing us now how to balance ourselves after all that silly season weird emotional stuff that's been coming up for us all the last couple of weeks okay it is a card of successfully integrating opposite forces so this is that yin and yang of the universe okay where there's where there's sadness there must be joy where there's um poverty there must be wealth those sort of universal opposites okay with harmony and compatibility it suggests the perfect union so if we love and if we're putting out positivity to others, good things are coming, okay? If we're nasty and we're negative and abusing people, we're going to get more of that, okay? So it's a card to show you how to balance that out so um, you identify your true colours, okay? Um, it can also represent a receptive environment for reconciliation to take place. So a receptive environment, that's perspective, reception that's perspective so it's not just us having our thoughts it's the ability to see the situation from the other's viewpoint so we put life into perspective so we can then compromise and with that understanding and compassion okay where justice represents balanced thought hmm temperance stands for balanced emotions Wow, so there's going to be a lot of justice coming out in the next week. I hope you've all been good. I hope you weren't on Santa's bad list because this card shows that justice is coming, okay, to balance out behaviours. Always a lovely, gentle card when it appears in readings. The temperance angel often brings healing. Wow, so this isn't just saying keep being nasty or keep being good this is see the whole picture give that whole <clears throat> sorry i forgot to mute my phone and as you can tell my phone never stops okay so this card is actually representing 
um, that energies will be aligned, okay? There's going to be a lot of alignments. <clears throat> so now we go to number two card. Love would make sure everyone had enough food to eat. Oh, isn't that interesting when we're talking about balance? So I'll put this up there so you can have a little read. Wow. Love would make sure everyone had enough food to eat. See, this is that balance that the temperance card is talking about. Okay? Wow. What do you interpret from these cards? That's a good thing. Comment below what you think these cards mean. You know, go on to Google and say, what does the temperance card, 14th card out of the major encarna, what does it mean? Have a read of it yourself to see what it's in there that's your um, your own personal interpretation of what's going on with your life. So now we come up to um, Louise Benton's card, Divinity. I've had this three times out of four readings that I've done. Isn't it funny that the, the universe is keep saying, you've got to do more on this, Linda. You've still got more to read out of this. So let me read it and I'll quickly put it up in case you want to pause the screen. You can pause the screen and read it yourself. So then you come up to your own definition of what these words represent. It's going to be interesting with the ruin I'm about to get to because this ruin, I already know what the word means because I just looked it up. <clears throat> Divinity. In eternity's womb, there is a space suspended in a time and place. So the womb represents us before we're born. It could be because it's eternities. I, I say this is where we're from in the universe. Yep, that's just a repeat of my text. Sorry, guys, it shouldn't do it anymore. A realm of pure potential born. So this, this gives us that opportunity that when we're born, we're all born with opportunities to do things in our lives. Merge in spirit with manifest form. So as we merge our spirit into our materialistic body and we go through society as we grow up with all the um, societal influences that we have on our soul. So out of the swirling misty darkness came first light from the primordial flame, the first ethereal emanations created the vessels of incarnation imbued with soul each life was blessed so we are all blessed before we come here guys okay a myriad of forms expressed a reflection of divinity so we are all a reflection of being in heaven we've all got that innately and that's why psychic abilities we have it innately okay <clears throat> beauty grace and majesty an experience of individualization Enveloped in sensual intoxication, ecstasy and pain combined, through duality our souls refined, a world of malleable reality, a testing ground to awaken and see. Now remember, this is a testing ground, guys. We are here to learn life lessons. You know, there's always lessons like generosity, kindness, loving, forgiveness, understanding, compassion, okay, to see if we that awakening and see if we are learning our lessons, okay? Beyond the veils of separation, because heaven and earth are two separate entities. So we're now coming to a time when this veil is dissipating and people are now starting to live more like heaven on earth, okay? And, and integrate the physical world with the spirit of creation. So, you know, now that that veil, whether it's because we're going through the proton belt or whatever, um, research the proton belt and you'll know what I mean there um, <clears throat> there's there's this unity now between what is heavenly or spiritualism and this three-dimensional world okay that veil is now dissipating it was no you know it used to be left fence right but that fence is now disappearing so the left is merging into the right and the right is now merging into the left because that veil that fence between the two worlds is now um, starting to dissolve embodiment of the creator's dream so remember here what what you want to be if you were heaven you know if you were an angel how would you act if you were angelic how would you behave what traits would you have would you still judge and accuse others and um, be sarcastic gossip you know have all those other na um, negative behaviors and traits Invoking the most beautiful vision ever seen. 
So beautiful vision, that represents forth, going forth and creating that vision. So we can manifest our future of what we want it to be, okay? To feel the true sacredness of earth and cherish all things as the new world was birthed. Hmm. Maybe that's the line that I've missed three times and that's why I've got to read it now because it's now popping out at me, the very last line. And cherish all things as the new world was birthed. New world. Is there a new world being created at this point? Put the word order after those two world words <clears throat> and a lot of people say it is coming. So what is it that you want to be in that new world? What do you want to be in that order? Okay. I dream the new world into being. Funny, I've never mentioned that before when I've had this card. I dream the new world into being. So we can manifest our reality just by our thoughts. Okay. Remember, pardon me, temperance. There is a balance coming. Which side of the fence do you want to be on? And love would ensure everybody had enough food and drink. So this means that if you do decide to change behaviours at this time with New Year resolutions especially, this is giving you that courage and that strength to actually create those and make them happen. Not just for a week, but to keep them going so it becomes that new routine that we do instill into our lives. So we do create this for the next world to occur. Okay, now the ruin that I got, I like showing these. So here he is. And here he is. Here, oops, I hold him a little bit different. There he is and there he is. So it's this one here that I'm about to read. Yep, that's him. And this card is a thorn. This represents a thorn. So let me have a look at this. All right, so this is the third ruin. The ruin of the thorn associated with the thorn as protection and also as Thor's hammer. Both associations link T-H-I-R-I-S-A-Z, thoraces, to protection from something or someone that may do you harm. So remember, so the meaning of a thorn a signal to pause and consider where the current situations should be changed. Yin and yang, changing. Everyone's going to be looked after. Okay, so they're all intermingled. I love this. A signal to pause and consider where the current situation should be changed. Now, it's when we pause that that's when we use rational, logical thinking. We don't react we make a response, okay? A response is when we use logic. We, we act in accordance with rules, obligations, etc. But we're rational about it. So we're using the energy from the universe instead of using like a knee-jerk reaction, which is energy, which is emotion, okay? You know, the classic line that I like saying is when someone comes up to you screaming and yelling, our first reaction is to scream back because we are doing a re-action. Their action is screaming and yelling, so we do it again, which is the re. Re means again. So don't react to things going on in your life this week, guys. Pause, reflect, work it out, analyze the whole situation and come to a rational and logical decision about what's going on in your lives at this point. Next point out of three. Also, whoops, um, sorry. If in a difficult situation challenge, the matter using objectivity and reason. Well, again, it's ration. You know, using logic rather than just reacting, using emotion and just doing those knee jerk, um, straight away um, negativity to other people. Okay. So if in a difficult situation or challenge, Sit there, get out a pen and paper, rationalize it. Write down your options. Should I do it this way? Should I do it that way? Should I reply to that using that? 
should I do it this way? And then go with your gut, your intuition, okay? And the last one of this one, it says, if part of a positive cast. Now, we have had some pretty positive cards today. This one, the um, temperance card, look it up and see what she means in, in your um, Google search. Because that's allowing us to have that pause. It's allowing us to reflect and say, right, this person's been doing this behavior. They've been doing this behavior. Um, I put up my boundaries. They're still doing this behavior. So now what do I do? So think about what your boundaries are. You know, have you told everybody over the Christmas New Year period who it is that you are and what you want to be in your future? You know, we've all got friends and family who like to control us at Christmas. Maybe that's saying to them, hey, you know what, next year we're going to do it a little bit different. So instead of you wanting to control me, having me at your house at this time, I'm, I'm not going to do that. So can we please negotiate? So we're using um, negotiation skills, which are very positive through the divinity card, okay? Balancing out things, okay? Because at the end of the day, any decisions that we do make, love would make sure everyone had enough food and water, okay? So let me just repeat this card. If part of a positive cast may indicate presence of strong protective and healthy energies forming. Wow. So how do we ever become more positive unless we sit there and psychoanalyze ourselves and say, you know what, I've been acting in this way. Maybe I shouldn't be doing that anymore. So we release that like my video on how to make the law, um, how the law of attraction can make our new year resolutions come true, right? Um, we can sit there and we say, right, I've got this negative behavior that I've been doing and I've noticed I did it then and I did it then and I did it then. I don't want that anymore. So you first of all, we identify it. Then we say, thank you for letting me have that behavior. Thank you. I am so grateful that I had that behavior because now I'm in a position to learn a lesson from it. Now I'm in a position where I can send that out to the universe and say, thank you so much for allowing me. Thank you so much for allowing me to have that. But I don't want that anymore. I now cast that out of me and I release it to the universe. I don't want to do that behavior anymore. So now I'm bringing in... <clears throat> This is straight from my video that I only did like two or three days ago. You know, how full is your cup? Now, some people would say it's nearly full. Some would say it's not even full because there's water missing. But our energy is always 100% full. We're made, a, we're made up of atoms, which is neutrons, electrons and protons. This is pure science. So this cup is already full because there's air in the top. So if we want more water, which could represent our wealth, it could represent our job, it could represent our family and friends, it could, in, it could be our positiveness, spirituality, it could be our psychic abilities, it could be a lot of different things in this mix of what makes up our water to be our person. But if we want more of that, we've got to let go of the air first and release it, okay? This is straight out of my book, Five Years in Heaven, okay? Which the link to my book is also in the description below, by the way. Okay, so we first of all identify our behavior that we don't want to do anymore. You know, some people, I'd say about 80% of people, we go out at Christmas and they, we come home and think, oh man, I wish I'd done that. I wish I didn't have to do that today. So this is where you sit down and you say, okay, identify what it is that you don't want to do again. And then you say, thank you so much. I, I now have the opportunity, because that's positive. It's an opportunity. I don't want to do that anymore. So what now we replace it and say, okay, now I'm going to create that rule or that boundary. What do I want to do next year that's different? So I've got to start living that now. So by next Christmas, everybody knows what my true um, rules and boundaries are. And that's how we earn respect. That's how we earn trust. That's how we earn love from others, okay? So I hope that this um, <clears throat> reading today has helped a lot of you. If you do want to comment below and say, oh my God, I didn't realize that card meant so much for me or, oh Linda, it didn't really mean that much to me. Can you ask um, for more guidance for me? Sure, I love my emails and that's why my email address is listed below as well. 
because I love waking up in the morning and answering all my emails. You know, it's now quarter to 10 in the morning. Guess what I've been doing all morning? Emailing people who just ask me questions. You know, um, I love it. I love the work that I do, guys. And I love how I've received this divinity card. So I'm going to put that up again because there's obviously a message here for all of us. And that's why I've had it now three out of four times I've used these cards. So pause the screen and really read that and ask yourself, what do these words mean to me today? What can I incorporate into my next week to really change or identify something that I am now doing? So it's a congratulations. So it's not always about changing. It may be just identifying what you're already doing. So it's giving you praise because you know, when we pray, how many people pray and they say, oh God, I need more money. Please heal me. Oh my God, I need, I need, I need things. But how many people actually pray where they say, you know what? I actually want nothing today. I want to just give you the praise of knowing that you are here when I do need you. So today it's all about me appreciating you. Today I want to live, live my life in that gratitude and that thanks of knowing that you're on my side. You're eternally working with me and through me. And most of all, I trust you so impeccably that I know that you're always with me. How many people pray like that? I do, every single day. Okay, so which side of the fence are you on? Are you always someone who needs something or are you always saying thank you? You know, that could be just something today to consider. You know, because there is going to be some selfishness coming out in the next week because that's what the cards are showing me. That's the word that I'm getting from her, selfishness. You know, people wanting, wanting. Okay? Oh, God, I got socks for Christmas again. Well, okay, what are you going to do about that? It's not your decision on what other people decide to do that's free will so if you've got an expectation where you thought oh my god I thought I was going to get that really cool DVD or music video that I wanted but I got a pair of socks then why are you having expectations why are you judging and accusing others so that could be something too to consider you know you allow other people to be who they are to do what they want but you must also protect their rules and their boundaries as well so it's yin yang which is what the temperance card is all about hope you like today's reading guys hope you have a lovely week comment below um, my book um, five years in heaven and the teachings of heaven that's listed below and so is the link to the beautiful cards by louise benton if you want to go and buy yourself a pack um, yeah have a safe and lovely week guys now that normalcy hopefully hopefully starts coming back into our lives after the silly season stay safe stay aware and most of all stay in love okay talk to you all again soon bye to learn more about your solistic alignment please press the like button and click subscribe to purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.